A Birmingham judge has ruled the state's workman's compensation law dating back to the 1980s is unconstitutional. It's a ruling that could have a huge impact on workers hurt on the job. As News 5's Bill Riles reports, critics say an overhaul of the law is long overdue. Raymond Morgan was hurt on the job at the Airbus construction site in 2015. His hand was injured when a manhole cover fell on it. The result? A long battle over his workman's compensation claim. Uh, it's like a snowball headed to hell. Yeah. It, it goes from here, you're doing good, and then all of a sudden you're down here, and now it's game survival. He can't work as an electrician because of his hand injury. And that's squeezing it. You can tell my knuckles are going white. I'm trying to... When doctors ran out of options, he eventually had to settle his workman's comp claim for what the law allowed for. But it wasn't enough. They get injured on the job, and then they're only paid a, a very small amount of money. That's a very big problem. But that could soon change. In a recent case, Jefferson County Circuit Court Judge Pat Ballard ruled two provisions of the Workman's Comp Act unconstitutional. One was a cap of $220 a week in temporary benefits. Which was a significant amount and a reasonable cap for the time that it was passed. The other, a 15% cap on lawyers' fees. But because the judge ruled those two provisions unconstitutional, it means the entire law is unconstitutional. But attorneys who represent workman's comp clients say this ruling may be the push the legislature needs to update a law they say is severely out of date. The act is, 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 is so bad for the worker today. Um, it needs to be updated. And this is a start. And that means it's a job for Alabama's legislature. But it's unlikely anything will happen on the issue during this current session with only six working days left. In Mobile, Bill Riles, News 5. The judge put a 120-day stay on his order to give lawmakers time to deal with the workman's comp problems. Now, a new...